Hey everyone, it's Matt again with more new MicroPDM stuff. So what I've got here is I've got a single primary MicroPDM hooked up here. It's driving these seven LEDs. I've also got my laptop here. It's connected to just a, a peak uh, USB CAN interface, and this is the free software that comes with it. Uh, what I'm going to show is how to do things over CAN with the MicroPDM. So the first thing I want to show is how to use the micro PDM, the new micro PDM without a keypad. So we've had customers say, you know what? I like the micro PDM. I'm adding it into an existing, let's say, Motec setup uh, in a car that races in IMSA. And uh, it's just going to control some lights we use for night racing. You know, I don't need a keypad. I'm going to send everything out on the CAN bus through the Motec setup in the car. Previously, that was kind of difficult, right? It's kind of unnatural for us because the micro PDM assumed that you had a keypad except in uh, very specific circumstances. So we're trying to get rid of that assumption. And what I mean there is uh, anything you can do with a keypad, you should be able to do without a keypad with the micro PDM. So let me demonstrate some of that. So again, this is just a list of CAM messages I'm going to send. Ideally, this is coming from uh, the data system already in the car, right? It could be something from Motec, something from AIM, something from Race Capture. Uh, it can really be anything. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is just show simple turning buttons on and off over CAN. Again, no keypad hooked up. Previously, this was not possible because you had to have a keypad. So in this case, I'm gonna turn button two on. There we go, button two goes on. We'll turn it off. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reconfigure that button. Again, no keypad. I'm just going to send a CAN message. And we're going to set that to flash at 1.5 hertz. Okay. Now I'll turn it on again. And there we go. It's flashing. What if we want to set it at 4 hertz? Turn it on again. Now it's flashing a lot faster. And you can configure anything you want, right? All the configuration options that are supported by the micro PDM, you can do it. You can configure it under CAN. Uh, you can then control the buttons on and off uh, over CAN, uh, just like you would expect without ever having a keypad hooked up to the system. The way this works is that all 32 buttons that are available, if you were to plug in a lot of keypads, those are all still there. You always have 32 buttons no matter what, and you can do whatever you want with those 32 buttons uh, using our CAN interface. There's a few more things you can do, and for that, I'm going to actually plug in a keypad. So I've got a keypad here. I'm going to plug it in. And what we wanted uh, to do with this new version is also give people a little bit more control over the configuration of their setup. So if they didn't like some things that were hard-coded, um, they didn't like the assumptions that we made, they can always change that. So one big one is, what if you want the backlight to always be on? Okay, so no matter how many keypads you plug in, you want the backlight to be on. So that's pretty easy. So we can set the default backlight brightness. In that case, we'll turn it on. Okay, so backlight is now on. Great. What if we want to change the backlight color? We want to make that red. No problem. The backlight is now red. And it's on all the time. This is the, the daytime default backlight color. Okay, let's turn that off. What if we wanted to change the key brightness? So right now, let's set the key brightness a bit dimmer. So you can see where it is now. There we go. It's now a bit dimmer. So perhaps you don't want it quite as bright as we have it by default. You can now adjust those defaults. And this is retained when you power cycle. This is all stored um, in non-volatile memory when the thing power cycles. So it'll just reboot and your settings will be saved. Okay, there's a whole lot of other stuff you can do um, with this, but hopefully this gives you a taste of what's to come. Again, support to do anything and everything without a keypad, and then also support to change the defaults to uh, customize the micro PDM to exactly what you want. Thanks.